we want to solve the matrix equation AX equals B for matrix X given matrix A and matrix B. Let's first outline how we'll solve this equation for matrix X here on the right. If we have AX equals B, if we find the inverse of matrix A and then use it to perform multiplication on both sides of the equation, we can isolate the matrix X. Or again, once we find A inverse, we can perform multiplication where on the left we'd have A inverse times AX equals. Now because matrix multiplication is not commutative on the right side, we'd have to have A inverse times B, not B times A inverse. And now we know that A inverse times A equals the identity matrix I, so on the left we'd have I times X equals A inverse times B. Well, the identity matrix times X is just X, so we have X equals A inverse times B. Now let's go ahead and solve this equation using matrix A and matrix B. So again, to begin we have matrix A. times matrix X equals matrix B. The next step is to find the inverse of matrix A, where if this was matrix A and matrix A is invertible, meaning it does have an inverse, then A inverse equals one divided by the quantity AD minus BC times this two by two matrix where we interchange the positions of elements A and D and then we change the signs of the elements B and C. So if this is matrix A, then A inverse is equal to one divided by the quantity, again AD minus BC would be five times negative nine minus negative two times 23. Times the two by two matrix where we change the positions of the five and the negative nine, so we'd have negative nine here and five here, and we change the signs of negative two and positive 23, so we have positive two here and negative 23 here. So here we have negative 45 plus 46, so that's gonna be a positive one, times the two by two matrix, So A inverse is just this two by two matrix. So going back up to our equation, on the left side we'll have A inverse times A times X equals A inverse times B. Now remember on the left, this is A inverse times A. So we should recognize this product will be a two by two identity matrix. So on the left we'll have just I times X equals, on the right, here we have a two by two matrix times a two by one matrix. Notice how the multiplication is possible because the number of columns in the first matrix equals the number of rows in the second matrix. And the result is going to be a two by one matrix. And now to find the element in row one, column one, or A sub one, comma one, we'll multiply the first row in the first matrix and the first column of the second matrix. So we'd have negative nine times negative 19 plus two times negative 86. Well, negative nine times negative 19 is equal to 171. And then we have plus two times negative 86 is equal to negative 172, which gives us negative one. And now we'll find the element in row two, column one, or A sub two, comma one. So we multiply row two of the first matrix and column one of the second matrix. So we'll have negative 23 times negative 19 plus five times negative 86. Well, negative 23 times negative 19 is equal to 437, plus five times negative 86 is equal to negative 430, so a sub two comma one is equal to seven. And again, i times x is just equal to matrix x 
So this two by one matrix is our solution. I hope you found this helpful.